Hey, it's Courtney here. I am founder of The Highly Sensitive Badass. I help women and men and everyone find the strength in your sensitivity. And I am here to help women who are here to change the world. Tap into your brilliance and your special gifts and learn how to take care of yourselves so that you can show up as your best self and share your gifts with the world. So today I'm talking about self-care. This is going to be a quick video actually, so you're not in for hours and hours of listening to me talk, but I wanted to share why self-care is a divine responsibility and it can be looked at in such a new way because so many of us feel like it's selfish that we don't, we're not worthy, that we shouldn't take the time because we're supposed to be taking care of everybody else and we have a lot of stories around why self-care isn't a priority and why we're not taking care of ourselves or putting ourselves first or letting ourselves have any fun or experiencing pleasure and you know having desires and dreams and all that great fun stuff that makes life worth living. And so the reason self-care is so important, especially for sensitive women, empathic women, you know, women with a mission to make the world a better place. The reason it's so important is because when your cup is empty, ah, oh, you have nothing to give. And so I've seen this over and over, you know, when we are just depleted, we have no energy, we've been giving it all away and we're, we're, we're so passionate about helping and giving and it makes us feel so good. But when we don't give to ourselves, we are no use to anybody else. We are ineffectual and we can't give those huge gifts that we have to everybody else. And so it's really, really, really important to reframe this for yourself so that you wake up every day and think, all right, I am my biggest priority. How can I take care of myself today? And how can I really own that I am worth taking care of? What can I do today to make myself feel amazing? Because the more amazing you feel, the more you know energy you have, the more passionate you feel, the more filled up you are and, and you know just in love with yourself and your life and how great you feel. Oh my gosh, that's like the best gift you could give to anybody. And so in some ways being, you know, and I hate the word selfish because I feel like it's been, you know, oh, you know, I grew up hearing <laughs> as a teenager, stop being so selfish, you're so selfish. And so I went the complete opposite. I had heard it so many times in such a negative way that I was like, oh God, I don't want to be that. So I'm going to, I guess the opposite of that is like to not ever think of myself. And it's just not true. Like, I want you to be selfish when it comes to your self-care. Waking up and every single day doing something that makes you feel incredible. Because it's so true, the better you feel, the better you show up in the world, you pass that feeling on to other people. Like, we are just these energetic creatures that feed off each other, okay? And the better you feel, you're gonna raise everybody else up. So it's really your job to take care of yourself and to get yourself into this really good feeling place so that's all I wanted to say today and I hope you enjoyed the video I'm obviously feeling awesome today I don't know if you can feel it but the Sun is shining I have some coffee with me um, you know I am feeling really good because I have made it a priority every single day I think of myself first and I know that I have a big mission in the world and I want to reach as many people as I can and it is my my business to take the best care of myself as I can so I can share this with everybody else and that every person who comes into contact with me feels love from me because I'm not able to give that if I'm depleted if I have no energy, if I'm an overwhelmed mess, you know, withdrawn in my bedroom, right? So I would love to hear from you. So please comment below with any ahas. I will say I've been having trouble. YouTube is not letting me reply to comments. So I apologize if you haven't heard back from me. Every time I comment, it says comment failed to post. I don't know what's happening, but I can't write you back sometimes, so I'm trying my best. But please comment below. Um, you can check me out on Facebook. I have an ebook for you on my website at The Highly Sensitive Badass, and I would love to have you download that for some more support. Anyway, say hi. I'd love to hear from you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.